our insulin level have gone up over the last 40, 50 years, like two and a half percent. Or more. Or more. Or fold. Which is more dangerous, high insulin, high glucose? Are they equally dangerous? Why don't doctors check for insulin? Right. <laughs> Very good question, Dr. Young. So the answer is they're both important. They both predict disease, but they predict different diseases. So high blood glucose predicts microvascular disease, small vessel disease, retinopathy, nephropathy, neuropathy, the small vessel disease of diabetes. Okay, and so glycemic excursion will contribute to small vessel disease. No argument there, absolutely. But insulin contributes to large vessel disease, like coronary disease or aortic disease. Okay, or you know, iliac, uh, you know, uh, uh, Lewis syndrome, uh, you know, not enough blood going to the uh, to the legs, uh, and that will kill you just as well. And so it's been shown many times over now in numerous studies, the UK PDS, the advanced study, the Accord study, that control of the blood glucose in type two diabetics will reduce your hemoglobin A1C, will reduce your nephropathy, neuropathy, and retinopathy. That's true, and you will die just the same. And you will have died of heart disease anyway. And the reason is because you have actually made your large vessel disease worse by giving more insulin. And the reason is because insulin has its own effects because it causes vascular smooth muscle proliferation. So insulin has two separate pathways in the cell. One is called AKT, and AKT is the metabolic piece of insulin's effects. And getting AKT up will get your glucose down, which is why the small vessel disease gets better. But there's a second pathway that insulin affects, and it's called MAP kinase. MAP kinase is the cell proliferation pathway. And so insulin is a growth modulator. It is a cell proliferator. It causes vascular smooth muscle proliferation. It causes cancer. High insulin drives cancer, it causes cell division. Well, you don't want that. The problem is every insulin molecule gives you both at the same time. You can't dissociate those two you know, subcellular pathways. So insulin is both good for you and bad for you. The goal is get your insulin down by being insulin sensitive. That's the goal. So that's why they're both important, but for different reasons.